I'm, I'm trying to be really nice. It's true, because I'm a Slytherin. I'm a Gryffindor. But you're a Slytherin. You're, you're more of a Hufflepuff. No, I'm a Slytherin. I, I find taken, like, that to be... <laughs> <laughs> I that the true. online BuzzFeed article say I'm a Slytherin. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to What's Safe Word? I'm Am. And I'm Paul. And today, we're going to talk about fundoshi. Fu fundoshi. Fun fundo what are multiple fundoshi? Fundosh. No. You can't spell fundoshi without fun, which is what we're going to have today. You're right. So because we do a lot of bondage ties on this channel, we've talked about shibari and we kind of covered the basics of bondage. We've actually been asked how a fundoshi is tied. And so it's kind of a fetish piece of gear. It's kind of a bondage tie. And we don't want to be insensitive, but we are going to try something new. And you just came from Japan. So yes. this is where you got this idea. I did. What is a fundoshi? It was the primary underwear type before World War II. It's what people wore as underwear before they had underwear. What Americans think is underwear. It was the hip underwear. It was yeah. underwear before underwear was a thing. Early fundoshi were made of linen, but as the 16th century rolled around, cotton became more easily available. And the wealthier preferred loincloths made of silk. Nowadays, the fundoshi has lost its functionality as a normal piece of clothing. But it's still sometimes seen as a fetish piece of gear, and in Japan, apparently, they actually have fundoshi nights. So it is something that people fetishize. It almost has that same appeal as a jockstrap for some people. And I want to say again, while fundoshis are a traditional piece of gear, we are not trying to be insensitive. Again, we are not trying to be insensitive. We had a question to Taiwan, and it's actually actually something that I've used before for costumes and cosplay and I think it's actually really attractive on the right kind of guy. So please don't be mad. We're not being rude. I, we're not we're not being insensitive, okay? I mean, he might be insensitive, but I'm I'm trying to be really nice. There are actually a few different kinds of fudoshi that exist out there. The first being the etchu. Bless you. The Etsu Fudoshi is a simplified type of Fudoshi. It is also known as Samurai Pants. It feels light and barely there, so if you enjoy feeling like you're almost going commando, this is a Fudoshi for you. Next is the Moko Fudoshi, and this is the one that closest resembles modern underwear, and it was usually worn by kabuki actors. And finally is the Roku Shaku, the oldest form of the Fudoshi. Roku meaning six and Shaku meaning feet, so it'd be six feet long. And this cloth is generally used for festivals or for swimwear, in which the cloth is actually wrapped around and twisted up and gives you a thong-like effect, and is the tie that we're going to do today. So what are we going to need for today's tie? We're going to need a piece of fabric, roughly six to nine feet long at about a foot wide. And preferably something comfortable so you're not going to be chafing if you are going to be wearing this out and about. And for the sake of YouTube, we have them in briefs here. We're actually going to tie over it, so I apologize for not being completely like accurate, but that's all because of YouTube and their demonetization. Assholes. But I am going to ask you to take your shirt and hat off because... What the views? But I'm sort of you. <laughs> Come on. Chop, chop. This is what the viewers want. Leave a like down below. Wait, oh, well, he's already taking his clothes off. <laughs> Leave a like down below if you like Bolt's shirt off. Oh no. So for the tie, it's very easy to do by yourself, but for ease of viewing, I'm gonna go ahead and help Bolt. You're gonna start by taking one end and wrapping it over your shoulder just a little bit, holding it down in front of your crotch with your other hand. Perfect. From there, we're gonna wrap the other end under the crotch, through the butt, and we're gonna pull it up through the butt, giving ourselves a nice wedgie. I like that part. And it's in your butt crack. You can actually squeeze and keep it in place, but I'm gonna go ahead and use my hand for all intents and purposes. From here, we're gonna start twisting and going around the front, making sure to keep that twisted look all the way around. That is kind of what the fundoshi is known for. Continuing to twist, we're gonna to come to the front and wrap over our other end, like so, going all the way around to the back. And in the back, where it clenches through our butt, we're gonna go ahead and wrap our other rope underneath and through, almost like creating a bite for any other kind of tie. And once you've gone through that bite, creating tension and pulling it nice and tight, again, the wedgie's intentional, you're gonna go ahead and twist the cloth and then start wrapping it around the waistband, creating a nice, even more twisted pattern, going around until you've run out of cloth, just like that. Coming back to the front, now we're gonna take the excess that was up here, come down, make sure it sits nice, 
wraps around your package, and you're gonna pull it up through your butt to follow the other side of the cloth. Pulling the other end of the rope up, we're gonna do the same thing, but the opposite direction. So going through our bite here, pulling it nice and tight. Again, making sure it's tight so that you have tension, and then twisting around the opposite direction. Hopefully matching the other side in length and where it ends roughly. And there you have it, your own fundoshi. Let's go back up here though. <laughs> so that's a fundoshi. How fun. Uh. <laughs> and so while this isn't strictly BDSM or kink, we do hope you guys have some fun and always use a safe word. And today's safe word is Lupa. Because we don't want your fundoshi to rub you the wrong way. If you choose a really scratchy fabric, it might like exfoliate as well. Um, I don't think uh, it's well, I mean, don't forget your loofah when you go to the onsen in your fundoshi because then how are you gonna clean your back? So thank you guys again for coming to the channel. If you enjoy ties like this and just trying some different content, leave a like down below. And in the comment section down below, tell us what kind of underwear you like to wear. And we'll see you guys next- No, 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 no. I want to show you my montage of Japan. Bye. I'm naked. <laughs> we can't show you the back because YouTube. But oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, demonetized. We're gonna get demonetized five times. <laughs> Serious note though, we got demonetized twice on a video. The same video twice. I whatever. <laughs> <laughs>